what's up guys my name is saucy and thank you guys for stopping by today what we have for you guys is the world's first not the first one but the first two nuclears in the new playlist safeguard here in the call of duty beta so this is coming to us from carnage tasty and carnage perk they both got nuclears in this gameplay they're playing on the map hunted like i said in the new playlist safeguard and this playlist guys if you guys have not tried this playlist it is something else it is something that we have not seen yet in call of duty history this thing is pretty cool you have to escort a robot from one side of the map to the other one and the whole time enemy team is trying to shoot at that robot and kill it so it's definitely a fun game type definitely something new if you guys have not played it like i say go ahead and check it out and also like i said guys this is the world's first nuclear in this game type this game type came out just a little bit earlier today and in this gameplay we have not one but two nuclears so this gameplay is the first the world's first two nuclears in this playlist which is pretty incredible all week we've been seeing a whole bunch of firsts like the world's first double nuclear world's highest gun streak world's first everything guys this is what happens when we have a new game we have the new call of duty beta right now and we're just getting all the world's first it's very fun very exciting to watch for the pub stomping community especially after the the kind of the hit that the pub stomping community took from advanced warfare you know with skill based matchmaking and kind of gameplays died guys i really do feel like gameplays died in advanced warfare and they're coming back in black ops 3 we have seen that with the recent surge and just the, all the hype around all the gameplays that have been coming out you know we have every single day we have a new world's first we have a new world record we have new nuclears new gun streaks and you know people are watching these videos you know this is something that did not happen for the last three four months in advanced warfare you know gameplays had died like i said people were sick of seeing dna bombs on reverse boosted accounts or god accounts and now here in black ops 3 you know it's kind of reignited just reignited the pub zombie community it's an awesome thing to see it's an awesome thing to be a part of you know doing a commentary on the world's first nuclear not only one nuclear but the world's first two nuclears in this new playlist it's awesome to be a part of and i'm loving watching it so definitely shout out to carnage tasty for allowing me to do this commentary i'm very excited to be here and bring this to you guys i hope you guys are enjoying this stuff this stuff is like this stuff like i say like i keep saying guys i can't say it enough how exciting it is for me to see gameplays being back you know it brings me back to like when i'm trying to hunt for gameplays because in advanced warfare you know i gave up i started opening supply drops and i started doing other stuff you know i gave up on the gameplay you know i do my live streams and i get the dna bombs and stuff but at the same time you know i knew that nobody really wanted to watch the live comms so i'm excited that gameplays are back let me know if you guys are too let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the live streams and the live comms coming back to call of duty as a whole and you know one thing that i've been thinking about is the beta you know today is saturday the beta is ending tomorrow for the ps4 and it's starting on wednesday for the xbox one so then we're gonna have once the xbox one beta is over we're gonna have a full what is it like two three months until black ops 3 actually comes out in november and then what we're back to back to advanced warfare and back to opening supply drops you know it's kind of kind of a letdown you know i feel kind of teased by the beta i wouldn't have it any other way i'm glad that we do have the beta but i have to admit i am gonna miss it i am gonna miss being able to play this wonderful game it doesn't have its flaws does it have its things that are like a little bit frustrating yes it does but it is very very refreshing to play it's very I don't know what it is. It's just like it's it's like you were thirsty for a drink and Treyarch gave it to you. That's that's how I feel about Black Ops 3. I feel like it's refreshing. I feel like it's just a, a a breath of fresh air. I can't describe it enough. It's just awesome to play. Very very fun. I'm super excited about the release in November and I don't know what I'm going to do until then. So like I said guys, let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about the Pub Zombie community making a comeback here in Black Ops 3. And again, thank you to Tasty for letting me commentate over this. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, my link will also be in the description to my channel if you guys want to check me out that would be much appreciated drop a like on the video guys thank you for watching and i will see you later eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through for you?